Hello children, this is Santa Claus. Hello children, it's December 22nd, 2011, and this is Santa Claus. I'm here to tell you, Christmas has been cancelled. It's December 22nd, 2011, and I, Santa Claus, am out of the job. And you little kids are out of luck. Christmas is cancelled. You see, the liberals of the left of America got so gosh darn sick of the political right falsely accusing them of declaring war on Christmas that they said, since they're going to accuse us of destroying Christmas anyway, Christmas is cancelled. You heard it here first. Christmas is cancelled. I can tell some of you kids are getting pretty psychotic about this. But here's the good news. Christmas has been cancelled this year so that we might bring you the following Perry Logan Show. I thought you'd be glad. We bring you the following Surreal Perry Logan Show. Starring Austin's beloved Perry Logan called Christmas is Cancelled. Calm down kids, I'm gonna have to administer the anti-psychotics. Christmas is cancelled. This is Perry Logan's cat. Yeah. Perry Logan's cat is big and strong. The Perry Logan's cat and sing this song. Go! Ah. Now that was a lot of fun. Now down to business. This is Perry Logan's cat. <laughs> Stop laughing. This is Perry Logan's cat. Stop laughing. Now, now you're bleeding. Now maybe you'll listen. This is Perry Logan's cat. I regret to say that Christmas has been canceled this year. That's right. The uh, liberals got so damn sick of hearing right-wingers uh, falsely accusing them of being at war with Christmas that they said, hey, you know, if us liberals had ever gone to war against Christmas, Christmas would be toast. I said Christmas would be toast. All right. Well, the liberals decided that since the righties are going to accuse them of being at war with Christmas anyway, that we're just going to bloody cancel Christmas this year. <laughs> Christmas is canceled. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, which part of Christmas is canceled this year don't you understand? I'm sorry. Now don't start crying! Ah. No more Christmas for you, little mister. I said a blah 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 we lefties are so damn tired of right-wingers telling us we're at war with Christmas, we have, we have decided to cancel Christmas! <gasps> Christmas is off, little mister! Well, why would we want to attack Christmas? Well, you see, it's not because he got the damn date wrong! <laughs> it's not because the guy might not have existed! Uh-oh! <laughs> What a rude bastard! What a rude bastard! No, that's not what bothers us. <laughs> we will, let's just, oh, I don't know, let's just get crazy and acknowledge a tiny little spark of spiritual reality in Christmas. Oh, oh there it goes! Well, it's been totally snuffed out by the worshippers of mammon. No! Worshippers of Mammon, no! 
Worshippers of mammon, ladies and gentlemen. Well, what's curious is we approach this holiday where we are asked to, uh, we'll basically spend like getting blood from a stone. Unfortunately, the very capitalist system, which we love, that so heavily depends on Christmas and which has so totally ruined Christmas, turning it into a bloated worship of mammon. <laughs> okay. I was going to say something there, but my head blew up. <gasps> We are asked to basically spend. We are asked to basically spend. By the same system which has utterly fleeced us of money. Yeah, that's what I mean by curious, okay? It is most curious that this is a holiday where it just totally, for as far as the merchant class, which run the show here, as far as they're concerned, this is like the most important moment in the universe. <laughs> Why? Well, it's, it's a chance to make money we are supposed to spend, okay? And while I hate to put the damper on Christmas, I think it has been crushed under the weight of the massive butt of mammon. God of materiality, the true God of the capitalists who don't give a fig about Christmas, whether they get the date right or wrong, whether Jesus existed or not, who could say? Well, the same system that so depends on, on just squeezing us at this time of year is, has just run plumb out of luck. They have been way too successful in uh, shaking us down. We haven't got any money, Mr. Mammon. We haven't got any money, Mr. One Percenter. Not, not to speak of, you have been all too successful. Now, you see where your system breaks down? Well, that's where the whole capitalist thing breaks down. It's just really sad. Santa? Ho, ho, ho. Yes, Jeannie. Can I have a Barbie doll with great big breasts for Christmas? No, you can't, little girl. Can I have a new president for Christmas? That has to wait till next year, little girl. Now, are you going to ask me a straight question, or do we have to throw you out of the place? I think it's what I deserve for putting up with my parents and the world they've given me. Ho, ho, ho. Ah, you are a sharp-tongued young lass. Uh, chip off the old block, I'll wager. Uh, you see, Jeannie, if I may call you Jeannie, uh, there's not going to be any Christmas this year. The whole damn thing is canceled! Yeah, that's right. The lefties have decided they are so damn sick of being accused of destroying Christmas. Did they canceling Christmas? Is that weird? <laughs> That's pretty weird. Well, you see, since they're going to say the lefties are at war with Christmas anyway, why not take it out? This is the year we lefties take Christmas out. Are you with us, kid? Oh, yeah, you bet. Do I get to carry a gun? No, no guns. We're just canceling Christmas because uh, they've squeezed everyone. I know your parents don't have enough money to get you that big-breasted Barbie doll you've been wanting. Big-breasted Barbie doll I've been wanting. I was just kidding about that. Okay, we're just kidding. But, you see, your parents have been squeezed dry by the one percenters who, even as we speak, are whining because they need another bailout. They need another bailout? Yes. The dastardly bastards need another bailout. What more can we say? So I'm not going to get my uh, <coughs> Barbie down? Kid, we will work something out, okay?
kids, this is Santa Claus. This is Santa Claus with my jet pack. Hey kids, uh, I know you've probably figured out by now this isn't really Santa Claus. <laughs> For one thing, Santa doesn't have a jetpack. Oh my god, dude. Check it out. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got my jetpack. And I've got a really good hold on you. <laughs> Fun, isn't it? <laughs> a little life-threatening, but still fun. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Lose the jetpack. Okay. Oh. Hey, uh, I know you've. <laughs> this is the unhappiest bunch of children. This is me, by the way, uh, confronting the children of the world. For those who just tuned in and need to have everything in the Perry Logan show explained to them. I'm breaking the news to the children of the world that Christmas is canceled. I know you children heard none of that. That was an aside, okay? That was an aside. Kids, I regret to say, I know you know I'm not really Santa Claus. You see, Santa Claus has been Terminated. <laughs> okay, that's that. <laughs> hey kids, I was just pulling your leg. I was, can't take a joke. Santa is alive and well, but he's been terminated because Christmas is canceled. <laughs> This is bombing you, isn't it? I perceive this is bumming you somewhat. Perceive this is bumming you somewhat, children. Don't be scared. Come up from under your chairs. This is only the monster mouth letting you know Christmas is canceled. You see, it's like this, kids. It's not really your fault. But you see, the upper classes have so squeezed us dry, uh, nobody can really afford those Christmas gifts you all want. Now stop screaming or I, the monster mouth, will eat you. Mmm, children, mmm. I'm eating children! Christmas is canceled! <laughs> because you see, the left in America got so damn sick of the right falsely accusing them of bloody having a war on Christmas that they said to themselves, no. Since they're gonna say we're at war with Christmas anyway, let's cancel Christmas! Oh yeah! And let's have off the beloved Perry Logan. Break the news to the kids. <laughs> now I'm going to eat you kids. One moment, please. We're eating the children. The management wishes to disavow the children eating scene. And by the way, Christmas is canceled. Christmas. <laughs> he was so young. <laughs> Why did Christmas have to be canceled? <laughs> Is it because the guy might never have existed? <laughs> My friends. Oh. Just a minute. I I've got to cheer myself up. Oh, my God.
This is a eulogy. We are eulogizing the death of Christmas. Hi, in case you just tuned in, we're eulogizing the death of Christmas. Christmas is canceled. <laughs> Christmas is canceled, but it wasn't really the left and the liberals what done it? It wasn't us. We are only officially canceling Christmas. Hey, we're taking the heat. But it has long ago been crushed under the massive butt of mammon. <laughs> the kids are feeling better. Well, we can enjoy the image of Christmas being crushed under the massive capitalist butt. Round butt. <laughs> Big fat round butt. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not being childish. I want the kids to feel better because Christmas kind of, you know, jokes aside, Christmas kind of was canceled or has been by the fact that, that most of us have been squeezed so very much. Hey, look at this, I'm illustrating my, I'm illustrating it here. We've been squeezed to the point where you see Christmas, uh, as, as mammon runs Christmas, as, as capitalism has distorted and destroyed Christmas, it's, it's a thing where they're gonna squeeze us some more. You see, like we, we've got nothing left, it's like this. Ah, we've got nothing left, oh sir mammon, even though you crush us under the massive weight of thy great brown butt. <laughs> oh. Hi, this is Santa Claus. I'm sorry they gave me a pink slip. They don't need me anymore, you see? Well, of course, I don't exist. Everybody knows I don't exist. And you know, the guy on whom Christmas is based, he might not have existed either. Is that weird? Oh. Oh, what happened? Was that Santa Claus? Or someone claiming to be Santa Claus. No, this is the point. This is the point. Hey, no more Christmas. No. It has become smudged. <gasps> Soiled. <gasps> Sully. <laughs> Christmas has become a horrible kind of a thing where the capitalists whom we love, but who have to be put in their place. Because they screwed up Christmas and that's why we're canceling it. Uh, I'm taking the rap for it. They, they decided I was dumb enough. Uh, they decided I, Perry Logan, was the guy to break the news to America. Christmas is canceled. Okay? Here on December 22nd, 2011, I am officially canceling Christmas. Well, uh, people are always fantasizing about Christmas being canceled. All Christmas movies are always about Christmas is not going to happen. Is that weird? It's kind of an interesting psychological thing, isn't it? There are just innumerable, there really are innumerable Christmas movies. Some of them terrific, okay. I love them too, but there's this like obsessive theme about how, oh no, there's not going to be Christmas this year. Perry Logan has canceled it. Oh, perhaps I project. <laughs> so I thought, and, and you know, now the political right loves to accuse the left of having a war on Christmas. Did you know that? Did you know that? <laughs> Did you know that it, it is the gospel truth that the political right, political right, in the U.S. It, it likes every year as Christmas approaches, and the capitalists are putting a squeeze on us. 
crushing any spark of spirituality that might have been left in Christmas under the big brown butt of mammon. Oh yeah! <laughs> These guys are what so What was I crazy. talking about? Well, uh, the, uh, <laughs> Well, part of Christmas, okay, part of Christmas, as it was celebrated until I canceled it, was the political right accusing us lefties, i.e. the majority of Americans. Uh, that's the way I see it, and I think the real polls prove we're mostly lefties. Why do you think we're so in love with Social Security? Hey, why do you think we have Social Security? <laughs> this show is full of tongue twisters, but why do you suppose we have Social Security and why would it be, like, you know, just like as popular as sex? <laughs> Medicare, Social Security, as popular as sex. Socialist programs, as popular as sex. No! That's our situation. Okay, but for reasons. <laughs> okay, but for reasons known only to them, the political right engages in a lot of false accusations. And one of my favorites is that we, lefties, are, are at war with Christmas. Oh no, I think not, my friends. You see, if we, lefties, had declared war on Christmas, Christmas would be toast. Christmas would have been canceled long ago. Because we left these, we bad. Oh, well, that's only one reason not to believe these people, but the other is, of course, that the right just spend time generating weird false accusations. Yeah. This whole Christmas cancel thing is a part of a whole big, real, weird, ugly, goofy political phenomenon. Okay, that was too many adjectives part of a phenomenon <laughs> whereby the right uh, pulls things out of their butts about the left and repeats them. I, I couldn't do that, could you? I couldn't pull something out of my butt, believe it, and then repeat it. I don't think so. Now, those of you who disagree may just like bloody leave, okay? Well, the right, you know, to, uh, not to, uh, they're, bleh. well, let's not have any false equivalency. I'm pretty sure the right in America pull things out of their butt on a daily basis. They pull things out of their butt uh, about lefties, believe them, and then repeat them. And, uh, thus, with the war on Christmas, uh, you know, in, in all seriousness, uh, lefties are as crazy, uh, you know, crazy about the idea of Christmas, you know, even though it's dead. It's dead. Okay, Christmas is dead because Mammon has, well, squatted his great haunches upon it, yes? The kids love this Mammon butt thing, I'm sorry. Mammon has squatted his great brown buttocks upon the tiny spirit of Christianity, a holiday based on a guy who might not have existed. Oh, why should we cancel it? <laughs> hey, why should we cancel a holiday based on the birthday that's been wrong? It's not his birthday. If he existed, it's not his birthday, and he may not have existed. There you go. <laughs> It's not his birthday, he may never have existed. There you go. I said, there you go. to Earth new with Anchorman Logar of the Planet Logar. Is this thing working? This is Logar of the Planet Logar with the news. Here on December 22nd, 2011, it's official. 
Christmas has been canceled. The political left in America, sick to death of being accused of being at war with Christmas, has decided to cancel the whole damn thing. A spokesman for the left, one Perry Logan, has said, It was already destroyed by the capitalists, the merchants, the one percenters, the elite. Christmas, whatever tiny little spark it might have had that hadn't been squished under the great brown butt of mammon. Oh yeah! All right. It was already destroyed before we officially canceled it, okay? Well, there you have it, folks. I regret to say that Christmas is the least of your problems down there on Earth. Because you see, civilization itself will be unfeasible with the degree of global warming we've got going. Christmas has been canceled, Santa has been fired. Now back to you.